Okay, so here we go, guys. The last top 10 that, that we needed. Um, the shooting guards. And James Harden came in at the number one spot. Um, and I, I guess the main thing going around the internet right now is the fact that Russell Westbrook won the MVP and James Harden has a higher rating. I mean, how does that work? Um, so let's put that into words real quick and what does that mean? Well, I feel like 2K just basically doesn't care about the record that Russell Westbrook put out. I mean, obviously, during the 2K17 campaign on my team, they came out with a great Russell Westbrook. Yes, I mean, I'm sure they gave him some ratings for the ranked regular play now uh roster but the issue here is we're starting a new season right nothing has changed after the playoffs it's been no rating upgrades there's been no more games so how come james harden is rated higher than russell westbrook there's no possible explanation it's really just a a decision i don't know if it's a group of guys that do the overall ratings i'm pretty sure it's not just one person i'm, I'm sure it goes into a vote or into some some form of scale where people get to vote for what the overall should be between the developers um but if you really step back and think about it it's kind of disrespectful to russell westbrook he won the mvp you know his main opponent was james harden yet 2k comes out and just says okay but well, james harden is rated high he's a better player well hold on i mean the fans voted the players voted the coaches voted russell westbrook had the mvp season how does that work that James Harden gets a higher rating? But enough for that. That's just the reality. That's the fact. James Harden is, is rated higher than Russell Westbrook by one overall. Second on the list is Jimmy Butler. There's no 94s, 93s, 92s, or even 91s uh, at this point. It's a straight-up flat 90 for Jimmy Butler at the second uh, spot. Klay Thompson gets a 90. I'm sure he's going to have a great three-point rating, though, so don't even worry about that. He's going to be lights out, just a spot-up shooter. Um, DeMar DeRozan at the number four spot. I wish he had a 90 rating. Maybe he should have given Jimmy Butler and Klay Thompson a 91 and then DeMar a 90. But okay, it is what it is. Uh, then we go down a few overalls. Bradley Beal gets an 87 overall. I do like that rating for him. It, it's it's cool. CJ McCollum with an 86. That's cool. I, I feel like maybe he should be an 87. I feel like CJ gets buckets. And then the next one I really really have a problem with i mean devin booker 85 the dude dropped 70 points and i know that's gonna be the argument everyone else makes but the dude dropped 70 points so devin booker it's a minimum it's a minimum that he gets an 88 so for him to get an 85 is just disrespectful honestly um avery bradley 83 i really hope 2k is it's stepping back and looking at some of these ratings man because devin booker should be at 87 avery bradley should be at least at 86 dude he showed it he could knock down three pointers and obviously top top shooting guard defender right now in the league hands down Dwayne Wade at the number nine spot 82 overall he's getting older um but he did average pretty good numbers maybe at 84 85 would have been better but it is what it is and then Chris Middleton 81 I have no problems with that one man he's been injury prone so you know it's fine as long as they obviously give him the shooting attributes that he should have then we'll be all good but yeah guys in the comment section let me know how you feel about this list i got more videos coming on the way so make sure you stay tuned subscribe it's your boy decentric man i'm checking out